grab a couple more berserkers maybe if you get them up that high. Um I don't think we're gonna get anything higher tier, so let's And I fucking clicked the wrong one. I was gonna give it to the troops. Never mind. Okay, let's drop the wood. We can always get more. Okay, meat, I guess. Make one guy, guy the smooth talker, the charmer. Right, I need to level them up. Uh, Call the Bowman. What the name, man. The best name ever. I should have right, wrote these down. Fucking hell. Pay less wages. Daily XP gain for everyone. Regions are built 20% faster. Garrison wages. No, never mind. Reduced food consumption while in an army. Uh, I think this faster building is gonna be better. Maturing village raids. Quartermaster. Discarded arrows can be. True wages are decreased by 25% while in an army. Discarded arrows can be donated. Yeah, let's do that one. Other weapons can be donated to increase that uh, experience. Yeah, we're going for that one. I'm not paying wages for wounded soldiers. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking scummy. Uh, more morale from the worst food. Yeah, let's go with the cheaper upgrades. Even though money is not going to be an issue. Increase carry capacity for troops. Increase carry capacity for pack animals. Definitely. Reduce food consumption by 40% while in the siege camp. Or. Two wages are decreased by 25%. Let's uh, go for the food one, I guess. And all of these can be filled out on its own. Right, there's another guy. Okay, quartermaster. You're gonna be the quartermaster. Now let's get the other one. Yeah, sure, Sammy, get the food, man. Man's got to eat. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna, that's gonna matter. The. The first guy we get to be an archer, like archer ca uh, captain, is called Arlich Adel. The second guy we get, called the bowman, and Urien the ranger. Like, really game? Okay, skeleton, let's see this. Movement speed during the day. Movement speed during the night is gonna be better. Speed during steps. Movement speed is gonna definitely be better. Desert born. I think we're gonna be in forest more. Moving faster. Increase maximum track spotting distance. Track detection. Increase maximum track life. Uh, tracks are not as good as in the first in as in warband. So uh, I mean, I don't find that them that much that useful. And you gain sight range when fighting against bandit parties. Blah. Moving through steps or planes, you have a 5% chance of finding mount. Finding a mount daily. Risk carry capacity. Okay, that's. Pay penalty with cities. No. I doubt detection rate increased by 30%. But okay, that's pretty good. 
the side difficulty penalty from parties in forests. When station. Who the fuck stays stationary? Increase party speed by 0.1% for every skill above 200. Oh, we're gonna be speedy as fuck. I guess I'm gonna be the engineer, right? Let's get all the mules we can. Even though that's gonna slow us down. Because we're gonna yeah, we got a herd, that's minus two. Now let's get all the tr all the, the what English. All the capacity we can. Alright, hey, let's go start smithing. Or smelting. Is there any wood here? Oh my fucking... You'd expect a fucking town to have more wood in it. Alright. Uh, trade. Axes. Pickaxe, hoe, small squared axe, grab all those, any more axes, nope, oh this is gonna take forever, Yeah, we need to find more wood. Let's see. Of course, none of the villages that are nearby have root forests. See, there we go, there's one up here. Ooh, another one. Ooh, another one. So party capacity though. 125. Oh yeah. I need to go to Batanian territory, pick up more archers, then recruit more Nordics as well. What's happening here? Surely these two can beat them. Was okay there we go. Wait a minute. The f My rotation is so off. Let's go this way and grab the stuff. We're actually just plop in the city. Maybe there's wood in the city, like there should be. Oh, I know what I forgot. Shit. I forgot to pick out these on my own. So much for that. You would have been getting more charcoal. Thankfully, we get wood from axes, right? So that works out a little bit. You're yeah, right. Oh well, no, let's not waste it. Let's keep the smithing to the other guy.
I was thinking for sure we're gonna loot them off the Feral Berserkers. It might have been because it was a raider, like a la raider bandit camp, sea raider bandit camp layer type battle, not the, you know, the normal one. And maybe because of that we didn't get the loot, the, loot the fancy axe. I do want to get... Well, I guess it might be better to craft it. We can craft a better one for sure, definitely. Let me actually check what the game picked. Look at that. 1v3. Alright, pots is smelting by 100 percent Shit, I tell you. What's up, Flavius? Rave, Flavius. You missed the Roman streams. Shield Maiden? Uh, you mean the Valkyries? Uh, well, I mean, they're heavy, heavy calf. This bit, you know, what 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 can you expect from really heavy cav, which is unusual for the Nords. They usually have a lot of cav. And they're pretty decent infantry as well. Decent spearmen. I mean, you can feel a full, full army of them, and you're not gonna have a problem. That's for sure. Let's use him. Let's use the other guys to like smelt wood. Uh, well, we do have a heavy infantry. They're the house carls. Yeah, head armor 47, shoulders, not does, doesn't matter. Eh, the body armor is kind of lacking, I'd say. Well, these. Ooh, I might have, I might have uh, went with the wrong one. Crazy stats like the Fians. Although, uh, you can't really make the normal, normal like troop tree that OP because what's the point of the noble ones then? You know. You get, you get what I mean. Plus, like, these stats compared to, like, uh, some modern versions of Warband. <laughs> these are nothing. Let's go recruit some more... F what? Fians? Well, I'm not the same for the Fian uh, Batanian Fians, because... Uh, shields are kind of important in these games. Especially when you run into these lovely gentlemen over here. And here. I mean, sure, if you outnumber them, you might win, but um, or if, you, if you have a distraction. Usually, skirmisher archers win out. Which is, which is a, like, a real problem in Prophecy of Pandora when I played it. But sure, Romans, all that. Heavy infantry. Loads of infantry. They just get circle, you know, circle around and shot to hell. You know, like they did in the, when they attacked party IRL. Daniel's fiance, Sergio Noble should be the best infantry in the game. Well, yeah, I should. I guess if you look like uh, look at them like in the uh, warband, they were the best infantry. But I guess uh, you know what you can do. You can just tell the. Valkyries to get off a horse, you know? You can do that as well. How good is their armor? That's not the highest here. Okay, yeah, they're pretty good. We can tell them to get off the horse and make them infantry. If that suits you. Or if we want to use them as infantry, that is. I mean, uh, 
if the Scythian, not Scythian, uh, the Azurai, wait, but the Kuzites, long, uh, like horse archers that are, have battle stats than the normal archers, you can't always just tell them to mount off and become ho um, foot archers. Get what I mean? You really need to use this the troops as they are, you know? I do want to grab a couple of troops and we'll go back in, see if we can win that battle against the 150 Renegades again. Just a couple more troops, though. Two hundred fifteen pull arms. What about the one-handed? Two twenty in one hand. Well, I mean, their swords are not that bad. The only problem is they're gonna use the land. Well, are they gonna lose use the lands? I'm, a, I'm not sure. I, I have I'd have to see, like see it in battle what they do. If they get off a horse and then still lose, use, lose, use the lands, they lose because well, spears don't work in melee combat, which is why I never go for spearmen more or less, unless I make them into horse riders, which kind of sucks in Bannerlord, so I avoid, I avoid them personally. Yeah, I went the wrong. I went the wrong route. I went with the house cars because I thought they were, the, you know, the best. But apparently, no. The whatever the hell that is are the best. And they do have the heaviest armor from the Nordic factions as well. I think the helmet and the the, the shit they are wearing is the heaviest. And you know what I fucked up, Sammy? I didn't put in the, the points into this myself. <laughs> so the AI, of course, picked the wrong ones. Because, of course, it did. Those in throwing hurts. I mean, sure, it's, uh, we know it's like throwing weapons, but uh, I wish the shields were like uh, easier to shatter with them. That's my problem. Like, shields don't take don't take that much damage. Right, we want to keep the axes. Okay, we can sell these off. Still have a herd, so uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Yeah, buy more wood. Okay, that guy's stamina should have replenished as well. Uh, Aegon, I used the guild because it, like it's easier to like separate all things. Like for instance, if you go to the my guild now. Uh, it's easier for me to like uh, separate like playthroughs and mod than active. You can click on it and see the active playthroughs we have on, and I can list all the mods and all that. And you can add comments below if you need any help. Like you can't do that on Facebook. I even, I even, the, and the, below that, mods, patches, and fixes. You can literally make forums. You know. It's a lot better when it comes to that because doing all this on Discord be a fucking pain in the ass to find and to go through it. I, yeah, I do have Discord, of course. I'm forced to have it because people don't want to switch, even though it's a little bit better, in my opinion, at least. Do we have to sit in a settlement for this guy to? Uh, I think we do. have to park our ass so he replenishes his fucking thing I could just go move on find a 
find more recruits and make another blacksmith. And then make him our... What are we lacking? Yeah, an engineer and a blacksmith. That goes hand in hand. We need to go to the Nordic territory to pick up some more uh, Nord troops. I don't think we would have won that battle if we were at number 2 to 1. Without a shield wall. Yeah, the, this... Uh, here's the list of the mods. Like these ones, the top ones you know. I'm gonna leave this for a second and I'm gonna take a piss and you can see the mods here. Be right back. Plus another good thing about Gilded, I can also make, like there's like the home for the server, which is the one you land on now. I can also make, uh, uh, like a sub server, I guess you would call it, like a sub, sub category, where I can like make it so it's just about Warband and Benlord, so just Mountain Blade. And impost all the mods there and all the shit so you don't like actually need to follow the main server if you want mountain blade specifically go to that portion and that that there's you're gonna find all the mods and all the things you need so it's much easier to manage it's much much easier to find what you need on it And we're at four, so our plans to go over there and do something are off. Oh my god, we're at war with the Kuzites. Uh, this is version 1.7.0. So, you know, the main version. Uh, you know, not the beta one. Some of the mods haven't been updated for the beta one. But this is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. They're fucking hard counter to us. They can run circle around our infantry and shoot us to bits. That scouting skill though. The army, okay. Okay, we got a little bit of time to gather up some troops, see if we can fight, get into a couple of fights. Although it's gonna be a painful I think they're gonna have more infantry than us yeah they outnumber us a little bit <laughs> and I'm actually stealing troops away from the AI since uh, you know fill stacks and all that I 
I did have a uh, Discord server before, but it was just Bane ass, like, separate everything. They did add threads, which is like for well, kind of like forums and all that, but uh, it's not the same. So that's why I prefer Gilded for all of this. I mean, Discord is still funny if you just want to voice chat. If that's the only thing you want. And it sucks for everything else, though. Okay, we're gonna need a shit ton of archers for the next part. Okay, let's see what have we unlocked. Do. Unlocked parts only two. That's nice. Or do we need to? All oh, right, I didn't pick the right skill for that. Yeah, I'm gonna need to find a get another blacksmith. Then we're gonna deal with that. Okay, they're already besieging something. Hopefully, they're not gonna get wrecked. Hmm. Let's go destroy that bandit camp again. Maybe there is a chance we get the fancy axe from it. There's still a chance. No weapon hit the deal is over 25% damage. Can we have a. Uh... Nope. Let's do with damage to shields so we can actually break shields. Here we're gonna need leadership and tactics at this point. I'm gonna put more points into Vigor because I really do need to level up two handed as fast as possible. Right, I wanted to. Uh, that's not one. It's probably the missions in the city. Wait a minute. Did that fucking thing just vanish? And it did. I I this I never see that happen. Honestly. A bandit lair just disappears. They pick up the, the, the stuff and go. They smelt. They felt I was up to them. I was gonna attack them. Uh, to gain gold fast. Uh, well, I have true battle loot on this, so it's not represent representative. But um, uh, just fight battles. You know, get your clan level up so you can be a mercenary. And then just fight battles and sell the loot. That's the easiest way, in my opinion. You just make a ton of money with it. And you get a pretty decent amount of money from just uh, owning uh, thieves as well now, from what I've noticed. You can go on to the channel and the, the first playlist you're going to find is the Roman playlist. No, I don't use the dev... The, I don't. I didn't use cheats in uh, Bannerlord yet. Okay, we might be able to save this. Come on, catch him! Ash, catch him! I, I'm not exactly sure what the... What do we get in the cheat menu? But we do have this mod on, which uh, gives you more loot and more money. But you can watch my uh, uh, Reclaiming the R Republic playlist for like the Empire Eagle Rising mod. I got a shit ton of money in that. I got like a couple of millions, but million by the end. Like money was no issue once we became a faction member and started the owning settlements. 
which is really surprising. All right, we can pick who to control. Um, on. let's actually control the cab, I guess. I mean, I won't cheat in these games. They're pretty easy. Well, now at least, because. I'm not quite sure, is, is, it the, is it the Eagle Rising mod that made it so I can make so much money or what the hell? It... So many skirmishers ready to die. I'm gonna die here since I don't have a shield, right? Yep. I kind of forgot about that part. And the fact that I have, I'm slow on a horse. Charge, yeah, sure, sure. I don't want to see how many cab forces they got. 103 skirmisher cab. Nice. Nice. Our guys are gonna fucking get slaughtered. That's for sure. really fight these effectively though can't really catch up to them that's that's the main issue and I mean you can always like start off the game on the easiest difficulty then move the difficulty up I usually do it like once I hit a hundred uh, hundred party capacity or 200 party capacity then again at 300 party capacity just move the difficulty up that's how I do it I started this on the highest difficulty though well, hello. He fucking survived that. What the f... I want his armor. I mean, you, you do... You, you do use the cheat console if you want. You know, whatever you want. It's, you know, it's a single player game. It doesn't matter. As much. Unless you're going for the achievements. I'm not sure if the using cheats block disables the achievements in game. Uh no I don't. I usually don't update the mods while I'm doing the playthrough. If I, I, although I do have like three playthroughs of Eagle Rising up from like different versions. So like if I, for this playthrough, I'm not going to be updating the mods or the game once it actually like, uh, you know, gets updated. I'm going to, I'm set to stay at version 7.0, uh, 1.7.0. So I'm not going to mess about because it did get crashed today once it started streaming. Took me a half an hour to figure out how to fix it as well. Right, can can we wait in reserve? I know that we can't shit. Right, we're not a soldier anymore. Ah, I know what we should do. Time for some righteous executions. Whoa. Yeah, cataphracts. Though our horse is really freaking slow, I'm not sure if that's the best of it he has. should have donated the, some stuff uh, so we can actually get some XP for the troops. Wait, what? What did I fuck up this time?
I mean, <laughs> what, what did what did I screw up this time? Screwed up uh, not getting a distinguished service guy. That's for sure. Oh, mm, you have to change something. <laughs> No, I did not. Why, well, what's gonna happen? I mean, getting dishonorable, is it gonna be that bad? Jesus. I will just donate him to the prison because we can, we can actually can, look at that. For once in our lifetime. Yeah, there should be another army down here. Let's see if we can help it. Or... No, there's the army. We only have 63 troops still. Don't mind if I take all recruits for myself. I mean, if this guy turned around with my uh, with my party, we could maybe like win that. But he's running away like a little bitch. No, no, you know he's coming back. But traveling to tier. Let's see if I join him. No, oh, never mind. They took it. Never fucking mind. I was about to say, let's see if we can catch enemy lords, enemy parties running around, but uh, I forgot they're fast as fuck. Yeah, we might be able to catch some of them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we, we actually can, what the hell? That's a fucking surprise. Normally you can't catch up to him at all. Okay, let's see. Uh, the, the, uh, on the Giddle server, if you go to the you know, active mods and the Northman invasion, you have the list of mods and you have a screenshot of the mod uh, of the mod order as well. And by the way, this. Serve as a soldier mod is not available anymore, anywhere. I do, I do have a mega upload link there for you. There is a screenshot of the mod um, load order. Just check the guild server. I'm gonna do that from now on. Just add the mod uh, load order as well in there. This is the best map ever. We can just camp up here. The circle. Uh, active mods. So when you look on the left, uh, there's channels, then playthroughs and mods. There's voice lines active. On the left, uh, playthroughs and mods, voice lines, active, finished music. So active, Northman Invasion. Now, if you are using the service as a soldier, keep in mind that uh, you might actually get the crash if you're a soldier in the army, infantry, and the the army actually like uh, the uh, initiates an attack on the settlement. Didn't know. The fuck? Okay. 
No circle formation, apparently. The f circle formation is too gay for the for the Northmen, apparently. I did say I was gonna fight on foot, but uh, I mean. These aren't gonna be, be easy to get rid of, right? I need to turn off the UI again. Especially since I can't catch him. Idiot. They call me the arrow dodger. And I get shot instantly. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a nightmare trying to catch these guys. Maybe I should have increased my riding skill as well. <laughs> okay, ch just punch up so I can get to you. No, no, stop aiming at me. Shit. Maybe... Right, I do have throwing weapons. Point blank misses, always fun. Oh, there's a hit. There's another hit. Another hit. Another hit. Yeah, I'm gonna need a faster horse. Well, let's actually move up. No, that's our... Okay. Yeah, those are our, ours. I don't like this map at all, though. Just what I need less visibility. Turn around and face me. Never mind, he's just gonna block. Yeah, fighting these this is gonna be a pain in the ass to say the least. I do have a playthrough of uh, Negro Rising going up on YouTube. We just did it. Going for the horse is always the better idea. I just there's something about about it that you can't just do. Like you just want to kill the guy. <laughs> Long Saber. Right, right, right. Let's give it to the oops. Thanks, Aegon. It's gonna be a while till the, I think the last episode of Empire, or uh, claiming the Republic playthrough is gonna be up in like April, early April. So it's gonna take a, a, a bit to get to that point. To the finale of that, or you can just go on Twitch. You can find the past broadcast over there as well. Place your bets. Will I survive this one? Yeah. 
Hmm. Going with this. Maybe I should do the like, do what what what's on the picture, right? For or the thumbnail for the video for the stream. I have a spear and a sh spear and a shield. There we go. We killed one. We injured another. We almost chopped down a tree. Come on, come on, get stuck. No! Shit. Of course, the AI picks the like, worst faction for the Nordics to fight. Well, at least the AI does a, is a little bit smart and is not gonna like go and die willy nilly. Uh, look at that. Surgeon troops. Nope. Grab the horses and the food. Ooh. The goods. Command axe and javelins. Yeah. I, I mean, the idea was like, uh, you know, you're an ape, Plum. Uh, the idea is to go like, well, you know, on foot, axe only, but, uh, I mean, it might work if you fight bandits, but if you fight like real armies, it, it's kind of, going to kind of get difficult to say the least. Okay, so we're going to go for the first one, Housecarl. Yeah, maybe I should just ignore all this and just fight bandits. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Skirmisher cab. Let's go pick up a couple of more troops and find that big fuck off renegade army. If it's still alive in the Empire territory. that we don't have a herd anymore penalty okay now let's catch some bandits so i can practice my on foot melee combat I mean, um, after a while, we might, I might as well just go with the, you know, normal idea. Like, uh, sp spear in the, on horseback and shield. Because fighting unrealistic and fighting those bastards is going to be a lot of annoying. Plus, I ain't, I ain't a arrow dodger anymore. <laughs> Come on. Maybe I should tell the infantry to stay in the back. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. That's when you can actually like do f a full on on foot. Uh build and actually make it work those days were fun
Well, actually, let's see. Let's, uh, I'm gonna unequip all my armor and see how fast I move on the field. I mean, there are still skills that allow you to move fast. Ooh. I'm not sure why we can equip that. Well, sure. Yeah, let's get through the wall of this. I mean, we're a berserker, right? Okay, now let's see versus the normal looters. How good are we gonna be? Watch me die in one hit again. as all hell yeah I was thinking I had a like nostalgia about the you know how fast you could move back in the day I might actually like need to downgrade the game to actually you know relive that Could have gone worse. Okay, there we go. Seven kills, not bad. I don't think we'd move that fast with the without the armor, at least. Do you know we move faster without the uh, what's it called uh, throwing weapons? That's for sure. me or do we actually move faster with armor on we don't stub our toes on rocks so we move faster <laughs> okay aggro on to me all of you with shields oh god yep much for that idea No, let's not pick him up. There's no point, really. We like the fact that they add us so you can actually like donate stuff to troops and they're gonna level up. That's so good. Hmm. Hmm, I got, I got an idea. Uh, allow looting allies. Ex honor. <laughs> Golden Flash. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's turn off the morale and honor effects. Yeah, that would be fucking stupid. Yeah, see, the, that's the fu that's the fun part. You remember the videos that everyone was making, like uh, riding something. I don't know how like how high of the skill. And versus like uh, 400, 300 uh, athletics. 
Like, it's fucking better to be on foot in the end, when you see all that. Plus, if you have the two hand, the two hand weapon, you can slice through everything. Any barrel berserkers here? Probably not. Let's go to the Empire territory. See if you can find that 150 troop skin. I do know if some mods are like, uh, uh, I think the Cal Caladia Awakens mod is like uh, stopped being worked on in like uh, version 1.5 point something. So I might actually like go and uh, download that and then do the do athletics run on that. That would be fucking funny. Although I think Colorado Awakens has uh, magic in it. So, uh, might easily get wrecked. Might. You have to see that. Well, I'm not sure how magic. I do wonder how magic works if the AI targets you, aggroes you. That would be interesting to see. I'm still waiting for all Reynolds mod to get an update. Sadly, they're not on Nexus mod, so you, can, you have to like manually check all the time. I am a big Warhammer fi fan after all. Bazooka party? Where are you at? Okay, there we go. There's one. Oh, now they join me. Fucking dipshits. Soldier! Kill them all! Impact attack! Footman! Charge! Soldier! Attack! You see he is bold. <laughs> Boltus. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking name. Oh, that's what doing really fucking funny. They say get the leads. The leads die. I don't know what it is with Mountain Blade, but it seems like always your elites die first. Literally, always. Why is this guy so... Why? What? It's the normal troops. Why are they so freaking fast? I'm not sure, but I think they have throwing weapons. Well, hello there, my unshielded friends. Okay, that berserker had a mavalian... Mal 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 whatever the fuck it's called. I can't pronounce that. Here we got two kills. <laughs> but they weren't elites. One of them was like a second tier infantry. <laughs> 